Jay, do you think you're a first-round pick? But we've been honest. I feel like I'm, I should be paid first. <laughs> but I can't control none of that. I just control what I can control. You know, I put everything out there. This guy is so different physically than anybody this organization has had since they moved to Nashville. And I just thought at 51, A.J. Brown was so good, you can't pass him up. With, with the 51st pick in the 2018-19 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select A.J. Brown, wide receiver, all Miss. Got a strong physical wide receiver from Ole Miss. It was not DK Metcalf. It was Joel's guy, AJ Brown. He could play inside, outside. At Ole Miss's Pro Day, all eyes were on the NWO. That's nasty wideouts. They put on a show in front of all 32 NFL teams. Listen, this guy creates space and catches the ball in traffic as a quarterback. Those are the two things that I want. What's crazy, he's got speed, he's got hands, he can run routes, but he's truly at his best after the ball is in his hands. I mean, he's, he's as good with the football in his hands in the open field as you're finding the country. I love that Brown can play on the outside, outside of the numbers, but he can also create his space and really win on the interior. I love his demeanor, and I think he's going to do really well for the next level. A.J. Brown's got an NFL body, NFL package. You know what's so impressive about A.J. Brown? Being down at field level, you just don't realize how big he is. I mean, he's listed at 230. I think he's every bit of it. While his teammate D.K. Metcalf stole the show at the combine in Indy, A.J. was still on the headlines on the field every week for the Rebels. I mean, he's the all-time leader in receiving at Ole Miss. He had the best back-to-back -back years in Ole Miss history. This, you're talking about 6'1", 230. And if you want to get in their face, you better think about it because he can make all the catches. A.J. Brown is, I think, the number one wild card, right? Yeah, A.J. Brown's the number one receiver, I think, right now that everyone has just kind of forgotten about through mm -hmm. this process. A.J. Brown, this guy's a good all-around receiver. He can run all the routes. He can line up in the slot. He can line up in, uh, outside. He's got good hands. I, I really like what they've done. Th this thing should take this offense to another level. They were 30th last year at the wide receiver position when it comes to big plays down the field. So they need more for that. Maybe A.J. Brown is that guy. It's A.J. Brown going through. Talk that and talk. Just, uh, oh, oh, back oh. there. I just call him slot bully with a rare combination of brawn and quickness. He has the feet and body control to uncover and create windows as a premium route runner. This kid is just so special. My man is going to do it all. Second and ten, again, Mariota gets his feet planted, throws on up his back foot wide open. Down the field, he's got his man. I think A.J. Brown has to emerge as a guy that can be a complimentary playmaker. They need to be able to push the ball down the field. I think he has some big playability. He should be able to do that. We asked Mike Vrabel last night, will Brown be a factor in this game? He said, oh yeah, oh yeah. rookie again. It's Brown looking to a tackle and wiggling past Randall and then past another Brown defender. Boy is he looking good in his debut. A.J. Brown who set Ole Miss season records last year. Once he gets the ball in his hands he's big, he's strong and he's got really good instincts. He reminds me a little bit of a young Anquan Bolden. Uh, he's a 226 pound Deshaun Jackson. That's what he is. <laughs> I mean, he's he's a mon monster. Boy, is AJ Brown a, an impressive young receiver? 6'1", 226 pounds, and just real smooth. AJ Brown with the reception. Henry on formation. And fake to him over the middle. It is caught. That's the rookie AJ Brown. He's still going. Brown showing the wheels to the 10 to the 5 and he's in for the touchdown an electrified catch and run 55 yards to get Tennessee in front 
They drafted A.J. Brown in the second round with the hopes that he would give them that big play home run threat, something that this offense has severely lacked the last couple of years. Boy, what a play there by the rookie Brown out of Mississippi. Mariota, the little hitch going end zone. It is caught. A.J. Brown for the touchdown. And his magnificent start to the day continues. This is just simply gorgeous release. Takes the outside, leans into him. A.J. Brown, you got a brand new player, but he is a complimentary weapon now. It's somebody else they have to prepare for now because if they weren't worried about him, so when you put something on like that and you've got a big combat catcher running through people like he's, you're going to pay attention to it. Has his man, and this has been the star of the show for Tennessee. Tannehill, a deep drop. Bosa tried to get there. Tannehill, high pass is handled by A.J. Brown. First down across the 45, and it covers 15 yards. Tannehill to the end zone. It is caught. A.J. Brown, and the Titans take the lead. Think about the young talent Tennessee has. And a game breaker in this kid. Oh, my gosh, yes. I mean, he, he just keeps showing up. Behind Tannehill. Take the pitch to him and a little screen to the far side. This is A.J. Brown in a pretty good game. And I think A.J. Brown as that safety blanket has been a big, has made such an impact. He is so big and so strong. When he gets the ball in his hands, he is superb after the catch. With time, down the far sideline. The rookie out of Mississippi has been a bright spot for the Tennessee Titans. Offense has taken off, and one of the guys that has been chiefly responsible for that is not only Derrick Henry, but man, A.J. Brown AJ has been a killer. Has been a killer. On the slam, it is caught. That's Brown. Much rushing Henry did last year in the meeting here against Jackson. Tannehill sells the play action and hits his man, A.J. Brown. Nice cut by Brown. Brown dangerous after the catch. A.J. Brown has dominated the middle this year. First down, fake it. Tannehill throws wide open. A.J. Brown breaks a tackle and Brown walks the tightrope. That's the sensational rookie, A.J. Brown. He'll get on a roll, which we've seen here in the second half. Tannehill, perfect throw. A.J. Brown, and Brown turns on the Jets. Touchdown. It is an onslaught in Nashville. 65 yards on the catch and run. He beats the coverage of A.J. Boye, and then it's see you later. But the rookie is showing his skill, and it's immense. This guy's 220 pounds, and he everywhere. Second down, seven. Tannehill. Got him. Really nice route. Watch him drop his hips here. Tannehill. Under pressure, going to throw it deep. Has his man open down the middle of the field, and he's got him. A.J. Brown to the end zone for the touchdown. 91 yards. Brown with the strength to pull away from Worley's tackle. Then Brown, the rookie from Mississippi, who has put together a fantastic year. Completing and to the 40 and to the 45 is A.J. Brown. Tannehill on the quick slant. That's complete and Brown to the end zone for the touchdown. Well, that's a safe throw. You're, you're, trusting, you're trusting your best wide receiver, your most physical wide receiver.
Second and eight. Tannehill from the end zone is going deep, and it's caught. And how good is he? And how huge is he? He, I believe, I call him man. I call him a tank, and I just don't. I don't think that was big enough. He's great. He's been playing great, and they're putting it in his hands. We talked about him before this game. We said this guy, an outstanding rookie, Brown on Joseph, and runs right by him. How about that out of your own end zone? They take a shot. It's easy to see who his favorite target is now. This has developed as the season's gone on. He's really tough to guard because he's strong and physical, and he gets out of those breaks so fast. I really like A.J. Brown. The more I watch of him, and he's got reliable hands to go with dangerous after, after the catch ability. He's like a running back playing wide receiver. People don't know him yet. I'm telling you, he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. And we just don't know it yet. Already got Yes. Look at Brown. I mean, I know we keep talking about it, but this guy's just, look at him. He's been on, uh, almost unguardable. <laughs> he really is. I mean, I mean he's, he's so strong and quick. And that's a rare combination. These DBs are having trouble with him right now. On defense for Houston. Tannehill, again, got all kinds of time. No pressure whatsoever. And it results in a touchdown. A.J. Brown. He's been winning his matchup all day. And you see the strong hands. Roby just, I mean, how long do you have to cover for it? All the time in the world, and no one's really open. And watch Brown just continue, continue, and then stop right there, post up. Make him go through you, Tannehill strike right there. That's a touchdown, yep. Jim. And look at the strong hands. On the toss. This is A.J. Brown still going. Inside the 10 to the end zone. Touchdown. 49 yards! Because there's nothing you can do to coach up against, to me, A.J. Brown's physical dominance. He is a big, strong, fast runner. And I'm asking the question coming into this game, is this the rookie of the year? He might be with the performance over the last month and a half of the season. What another great big play for this Titans offense. Start from the 25, Tannehill throws, and finally A.J. Brown with a reception. A great catch by A.J. Brown. Look how easy this ball falls in over his shoulder. The concentration of this kid to come down with that after beating a really good corner in Marshawn Lattimore there. Here's Tannehill, 35. Bounces away from the pocket and finds Brown. Slips out of the tackle and he's racing down the sideline for a touchdown. You had it, Tony. A.J. Brown has scored a touchdown for the fourth game in a row. This one goes for 51 yards. This kid's a superstar and he's gotten better each month this year. His first year in the NFL. Watch him go up, go across, and then keep going. When he changes that little burst, he's got strong hands. And he's really difficult run after catch. He's been doing it all year. And Mariota's in the game. Right, Mariota completes it to Brown. There's a fake to him. Tannehill wanted to load it up long. Double coverage on Brown. And he still caught the ball at the one. I cannot believe. How about that? He's double covered. A die and more, both on him. And his feet are down. His feet are in. Does he hold on to the ball from right here? Of course he does. Yep, that's it's a emerging superstar. Yes. Titans take over at the 28. Got a give for A.J. Brown. He may just embarrass the rookie Jalen Ferguson here. Steps right up inside. Here's the play action. Tannehill has his man, the rookie, A.J. Brown, and he's able to get three from two. Chiefs, and he winds his way down. The rookie who's so dangerous after a catch goes for 37. Well, 
during the regular season, he just kept getting better and better. And he is a, we called him just an emerging superstar. There have been some moments I've looked and like, oh yeah, he's a rookie. A.J. Brown is the alpha. And man, all this guy has done is made a ton of good plays. This guy's got all real talent. He's another person who handles himself well. He has a big presence. It's been fun to watch.